Hey all you do-it-yourselfers, I'm John P. And on today's episode, we've got garage and shop gadgets. Welcome to Geek Geek. This episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by Audible. You know, one of the things that is most useful in a shop is an extra set of hands. And that is the thing that you never, yeah, I, not yours, Dave, although they would be useful, but you never have those around when you need them. So, my absolute favorite thing to use in the shop is a big old vice, but not the traditional kind of vice that you gotta crank and crank and. And he keeps turning. Twist it. No, there's actually one that's much better. It's made by Rockwall. It's called a Rockwell. It's called the Bench Jaws. This is a bench vise. This is an old style like grandpa used to have with a modern twist. So blacksmiths used to have these kind that hung off the edge of tables and they had a big kind of handle that you had to crank to get it to turn in. It would screw in. Not anymore. Nowadays, We've got these steps and all you do, watch this, okay, I got a two by four in here. I'm gonna step down here and you'll see it's compressing and it's just bringing that thing up until I get it really tight. It's really in there. And then what I can do is I can hit the lock button down here and that sucker is now, I'm shaking the whole table. So that is fantastic. And then when you're ready to let it go, you unlock it and you give it a little, little bit of pressure on the on the foot release you'll hear a click and now it is free to move fantastic you'll notice this thing has a 16 inch clamping capability and you can actually get a different extension that'll give it two feet of clamping so it'll hold like a huge board or a couple of pieces together let's say we're going to glue some things up we could easily glue a couple of two by fours by setting them in here glue them up and then clamp it down and that'd be great. So it will hold up to 220 pounds. And when you really torque down on it, you get more than a ton of clamping force, which is fantastic. It'll hold anything you want. Just put watch it on. Watch your fingers. Watch your fingers. Put it on a nice, uh, sturdy, sturdy bench, okay? Now, what you may notice if you look at this, you'd say, wait, now the way I've got that on the bench, I, okay, that was stupid. I mounted, I can't open my drawers. Aha! Guess what? You can move, when this is mounted on the corner of your bench, you can unscrew one single screw and it's gonna give you two different mounting positions. Now this is important because sometimes you need your material to be in this direction and sometimes in this direction or whatever. So by doing that, uh, by un undoing that one screw, let's see, let me get it out of there. Then what I can do is pop that up. You'll notice there's if you look, it it's not, I mean, it's, it's not light, it's sturdy, but it's not heavy. There's two little round kind of circles here. And you notice there's two little holes here and there's two on this side as well. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of line this thing up, stick it in there, and then screw this down here. And now we have repositioned it. And of course we can get to our drawers. I can still do what I need to do over here. Um, with this thing unlocked, I'll slide that open, stick my wood right in there, and crank it down, lock it, and it's, again, locked. Very, very cool. Now, you may be asking yourself, but John P., how much does that cost? Well, if you go to one of your local stores, like Lowe's or something, this is $125, and honestly, worth every penny of it. But... I somehow accidentally discovered that you could get it on Amazon for 80 bucks, and that's where I got this one, even though I was ready to go spend 125 at the store. So check it out on Amazon, it's 80 bucks. We've got the link in the show notes to this show, so look below and do that. All right, you may be saying to yourself, wow, John P., you look mighty handsome in that black leather jacket. Well, I do. If I do say so myself, this is my black leather welding jacket. It's made by Cayman. I love this jacket for several reasons. First of all, it's not normal leather. It's boar's leather, which is much more flexible. It's actually kind of stretchy. If I grab a hold of it and, and just kind of 
pull on it. it, it flexes, it stretches, which cowhide would never do. But it's also about 15 to 20% lighter, so it's not really heavy on me. And it still offers excellent abrasion and heat resistance. So if I was grinding on something or cutting on something or moving wood around, I don't care if it rubs against my arms, it's not gonna scratch me. And when we talk about heat resistance, here's a blowtorch, here's my arm. So I wouldn't normally be doing that kind of thing with my skin. But with this thing on, it, uh, it absorbs most of that heat. Um, it's just a little bit warm to the touch here now. Very, very safe. These jackets can be had also on Amazon or from Cayman Direct for about 100 bucks. Well worth it, it's good looking. It's actually vented. If you look under the arms here, it's got little vents right in there. It's, got, it's vented uh, on the back. It's got little pen marks here, I mean pen holders on the sides. So I really, really dig this jacket. And this is super, super sweet. Notice it's actually lined up here, that way uh, when it's resting on your shoulders, it moves around. It doesn't feel like it's sticking to you. It's lined like a, like a proper jacket should be. Okay, let's move on to the next thing. The next thing is my Sonos. Now, currently, I've got a Play 3 back here. This is a portable Sonos unit, which uh, is nice because uh, we've got the live streaming music that we can play all over the Geek House including in my little sh uh, shop back here. By the way, how do you guys like my shop? You haven't seen that before, but we got the cabinets and everything. We'll go into that later. Yeah, we so, gotta hang some lights. Yeah, we're gonna put some lights in here. We're gonna do all kinds of projects in here. We're gonna bring you guys all kinds of do-it-yourselfer stuff. But you gotta have some music. In fact, I don't know about you, Dave. I actually get bored. If I'm, if I'm working on something for like hours, sometimes there's a lot of tedious work, you know? And like sanding or something like that, and you just need something to occupy you. So music will do it, or even better, audiobooks. I like to listen to audio, uh, audible podcasts and stuff, audible uh, books. Uh, I don't know, how about you, what do you like? Anything that Clive Cussler does. Clive Cussler? Clive okay. Cussler novels, you bet. I, I listened to the entire Harry Potter series and stuff, so Excellent. they're great, so you can, you can do that with audio. But I will say one thing. Um, here at the Geek House, we have several different kinds of Sonos uh, speakers, and you could use one of these, but keep in mind that in your shop, it's going to be dirty and nasty, and this thing will get filthy. So this is not really the one I recommend. Let's take a look at what I do recommend. This is what we're talking about, the Sonos Connect Amp. We've got several of them you can see. We've got ours labeled central front, central rear, lounge. We've got them all over the place. In fact, this one right here is for the back garage area. Puppies are here. Um, so here's the thing. I've got these in this audio cabinet right here. Those things put out 55 watts per channel times two. So each one of these will drive a pair of speakers somewhere else in the building. That means our amplifier and all of our sensitive circuitry stay well protected in here while the speakers, which I don't care about, you can put waterproof speakers or whatever shop speakers you want, just stick them in there, run some cheap cable to them and let them get dirty and beat up, who cares? This thing stays in here protected. Okay, back to the re review area the shop, I guess. There's nothing I like better than starting fires. All right. You know, sometimes I don't have my handy little blowtorch on me. I know, hard to believe. But this is something I can keep with me at all times. This is the Gerber Bear Gillis. How's his last name? Bear Grills. Gr Bear Grills. Grills. It what? looks like G G Grillis or something. Bear Grills. Bear Grills. Fire starter. This, my friends, is only 12 bucks on Amazon. Everyone needs one of these. Get one for your special someone, yourself, uh, for the holiday season because here's what it is. You pop this thing apart and what you've got is this ridiculous stick of like magnesium stuff. And then on the other end, you got this steel scraper thingy. And what you do is you bring the two together a lot like this. You just scrape it and you get these huge sparks coming off of it. 
And that stuff is hot, okay? I mean, that will light things on fire. And so, <laughs> you might say, well, what would I light on fire with that? Well, some tinder, you know. Yeah, you're stuck out in the woods. Yeah, it's getting cold. You, you, you're gonna light things on fire with it. Now, what uh, you might wanna do is inside the cap, the cap kind of pops off. And look, there's space for cotton balls. So what you can do is put some, you know, tinder in, in the uh, end here, and then use that to flick your sparks into and get the thing started. What's also kind of cool, it's got a whistle, a safety whistle. So you could uh, try and get some attention if you did something to yourself. Or, you know, let's say you were in a cave, you know, and you, you, you had a cave in, because that happens all the time, Dave. You would be surprised. More like, than you'd think. like eight out of 10 hikers in the woods fall into a cave. And it's a fact. I was you lost can, for six months. Well, you can check it, it's a fact. I made it up. So uh, what they do is they printed on here the SOS signal, which I kind of think is cool because you can never remember that, but it's like three short taps and then three longer taps and three short ones. So I don't know, this thing could save your life and it's only 12 bucks. So why wouldn't you do that for everybody? Get one for, every, get one for the kids. Stuff. They'll have lots of fun. Play within the bathtub, maybe. I don't know. Okay, Magnesium. the next thing I want to show you guys is a Pro Sensor Stud Finder. Now, you're oh, thinking... Oh, oh, yeah, it found me. Right, oh, uh, sorry. right, right. Now, what you're thinking is, it's a stud finder. Well, who needs a stud finder? Yeah, everybody needs a stud finder once in a while, and the crappy ones that you normally get, they're so imprecise. You, the way a stud finder usually works is you put it on the wall, and you go, and let's say this was a stud. As it gets close to the stud, it'll go beep, 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 beep. And then you're like, wait, where did it start and stop? Yeah, not with this bad boy. Watch this. We're gonna show you in real life. You're gonna push the little button. It's on the wall. We're gonna start sliding it. Oh, look, some LEDs are lighting up. And now the LEDs are moving. You know why? Because they are showing you the exact width. There is a stud right there and is that wide. So I know exactly where the center of that thing is. If the stud were wider, then it would be, it will show you the exact width of whatever is inside your wall, things you can't see. Or if there were two studs, you would see both of them. So if you need to hit a stud or miss a stud, this is the stud finder to get. It's 50 bucks on Amazon. Some of these, sometimes you can find these in, uh, in the store like uh, Home Depot or Lowe's or something like that. And that, that is just a fantastic gift for, for anyone who hangs things on walls. Also, it's standard mode. It's built in that it has one and a half inches of depth sensing, which is a lot. Most stud finders, you have to turn them into a special mode in order to get them to, to do that. You know, I'm, I'm sitting here with my naked arms now and it's a little chilly out and that reminds me that another thing that I really like are arm covers. You know how I was messing with that blowtorch on my arm? Well, you could have just sleeves made of Kevlar that would do the same thing. They're very abrasion resistant and they're heat resistant. I mean, you wouldn't want to put a blowtorch on them, but if you're working over an engine in a car or you're doing woodworking or anything like that, you want to protect all of this vital stuff in here, 20 bucks. You know what's even better, Dave? Arms, I said sleeves. If you could get arm sleeves, like sleeve, like tattoos, real full length arm sleeve tattoos, but maybe not like having to go through all that bloody pain of having yeah. real, no arm tan tattoos. You know, you can get those on Amazon for like $12. You can get the kind that you slip under your arm and they look real. I'm gonna get some. I think you should. I'm gonna get some, I'm gonna wear them on Friday's show. Okay. You guys should get some too. We should all walk around like gangs with these big sleeve tattoos. Yeah. Anyway, let's get back to it. So, uh, uh, two. I have two more things for you. But the first of which is my bad boy drill. You need one of these. The, the man, or woman in your life that's into projects needs one of these bad boys. Let me tell you why. It weighs four and a half pounds. That's, that should be enough right there. Four and a half pounds, okay? That is a lot heavier than your normal little wussy. Let's see, we got some other little ones. We got little ones like, oh, here's a little one. 
This is a good drill. This is a good little drill. It's a Craftsman, it's a little tiny drill. Look at that, and look at that. Which of those two do you want? Yeah, we, we know which we one. We put a lot of miles on those little Craftsmen. We, we did, but this, when we gotta do something serious, this is what we use right here. When four and a half really pounds. Wanna screw around? When we are really gonna put the screws to it, four and a half pounds, 450 watts, 18 volts, three speeds, one, two, and three. This also has adjustments for the uh, uh, torque. the torque, so that when you don't over torque things, or we're gonna turn it all the way up to drill mode, or guess what? hammer drill mode. That is right. We can put a ham we can put a, a concrete bit in here and drill holes right here in this cinder block. No problemo. In fact, it's so freaking powerful. Let me just give you guys a little example. Uh, we'll put it in the in the fastest speed. Let's grab a couple of these little uh, screws we got here. We've got our wood right here. Let's see what happens. Uh, we'll just go in this way. Why not? We wouldn't do this. Let me get it started. We wouldn't do this with that little one. You ready? You ready, Dave? Go. Here we go. All right. That is, we can screw oh, those things. In. Counter sunk. Oh, yeah. Good job. Why not? Why not? All day long with this bad boy. Now, you can get it with a couple of batteries and a case for like 225 bucks. It will last you years and years and years. I, I love this. This is my favorite drill. Okay, that was one of the last two things, but you know what? There's one more special item that no man should be without in his shop. A in winch. fact, in fact, maybe not even in his shop. A winch would be, uh, would be the answer, except in this case, we're going to use our winch to reveal the ultimate man gift. That most, is most men wear um, the mink jackets. Uh, the no, this is this is the chewy, this is the chewy hoodie. Ah, this is my chewy hoodie. So everyone needs a Chewbacca hoodie. It's only sixty bucks on Amazon. Check the links and get you one. By the way, they fit exactly the way you expect. I'm six foot one, 160 pounds ish. This is a medium. Look at me. It is magnificent. We're drinking you in, John. Thank you very much. <laughs> so go to, check the show notes below. Go to the Geek Beat website. Uh, link it up, baby. It's time for me to go show this off later. Looks like R2-D2. Your favorite geek will be traveling in Star Wars style. Tele Telepresence unit. You know what I mean. At $400, it's our most expensive mobile gift. But...